what's up everyone so I finally got my Hoyt Nitrum 30 and man this bow is just really 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 awesome everything is beautifully designed and engineered I got some nice parts for it Hydra did them last week and brought them all to the bow shop to get everything set up and ever since then I haven't been able to put this thing down this bow is just so sick anyways I just printed a fresh new target here and I'm just gonna set this down pencil poke this in Boop. and a pokey this bullseye is about oh shoot one and a half inches put that back here yeah it's about one and a half inches today we're gonna be shooting from 50 yards just because it's the farthest I can shoot from the front of my house to the back of the target there I had to sight this in at the range at 20 and 60 yards but uh took some shots at 80 but anyways this bow is just everything about it is top-notch quality from the cam system the strings are really decent this year they came out this new zero torque cable slider technology and uh, the location of this stabilizers offset everyone talks about this aluminum riser sit. Uh, how it kind of twists up But let's just take six six shots The drawback on this is really just clean and smooth Feels like it slides and locks into the back wall Right now I'm shooting East and Full Metal Jackets and they're 340s cut at 28 and a half inches Honestly, I think they're a little bit heavy for this setup. Uh, this bow is drawing at 60 pounds. Ooh. And uh, I would just recommend that I put it at the lowest poundage because the string is new. I noticed when I was shooting at 80 yards, my arrows were dropping a bit low, so I'm probably going to get uh, the 400s or even 500s. And eventually when they fine tune this more, I'm going to move my peep sight up a bit so I could get the full range on my bow sight. All right, let's go. But ever since I got this set up, it's just been really, really fun to shoot. Uh, I've tried the... Oh, shit. 
Nitrum Turbo and the 34 but to me I just like the 30 because it's a shorter axle to axle and I mean it's like 0.3 ounces lighter but I just like how it, it is on my arm in the distance looks like two shots really penetrated and sunken but uh anyways thanks for watching and keep shooting